Welcome to our how to play video for Written in the Cards, the game where you unleash your inner mystic and perform the best readings to win. To set up, give each player a card sleeve and deal them seven cards face down. Place the rest of the cards and the reading guide in the center of play. Each card features an image and a description. Throughout the game, players will create prophecies by combining two cards and then perform readings based on this combination. Choose a player to be the first seeker and give them the dice. To start the game, the seeker must roll both dice. The purple die determines the style of the prophecy, hilarious or mystical, and the white die specifies the subject of the reading, as shown on the reading guide. You can also check the instructions to find out exactly what your role means. Next, the seeker must ask the group a question relating to their career. This can be as open or as specific as they like. Now everyone else must use their cards to create a hilarious prophecy relating to this question. To create your prophecy, place one of your cards in the back of your sleeve to show its description, like this. Then, take another one of your cards and place it in front to show the image. When you're done, place your prophecy face down in the center. Once all the prophecies have been placed in the middle, the seeker must shuffle them and then announce them one by one to the group. Next, they must select which prophecy they think is the most hilarious. The player who created the chosen prophecy is awarded one point. We'll explain how this is recorded later. Now it's time for the readings. Starting with the player who won the vote, each player must perform a reading by telling a story about their prophecy to answer the seeker's question. Feel free to get as creative as you like and follow your intuition. It doesn't have to be the most hilarious or mystical at this point. Once all the readings have been performed, the seeker picks their favorite. To award the points, the seeker removes both cards from the winning prophecy sleeve and places one in front of the player who created the winning prophecy and one in front of the player who gave the winning reading. This could be the same player. Discard the rest of the cards that were used in this round. All players, except the seeker, must draw two new cards so that they have seven in their hand again. The player to the left of the seeker becomes the seeker for the next round. Keep playing until everyone has had a turn as the seeker. Whoever has won the most cards is the winner. Make sure to share your winning prophecies on social media using hashtag written in the cards.